I have three pipe diameters that I use in your drainage. I'm going to explain to you why. Now, if I have a low flow application and I know I don't have a lot of water, the four inch pipe is too big. Why is that? Why isn't bigger better always? The more surface area that the water comes in contact with on the pipe, the slower the flow, the friction. You want the water to flow up in the center of the pipe. It's touching the sidewalls on the bottom. It, you know, on a four inch pipe here, this is so big that a low flow of water is going to be right in the bottom, making all kinds of contact with the pipe. When the pipe wall is making all kinds of contact with all the water, it slows it down to a snail's pace. It's going to leave all the sediment behind. Now you put that same amount of water in a three and a half inch. Now you're up into the center of the pipe where there's no friction. Now you're moving water. Now you're moving water fast enough to where you're carrying the sediment away. And yeah, if you don't have very much flow, it's a low flow application, and you need to go all the way down to three inch, there's three inch. And you get the water up in this three inch, and it's not making, think about it. Think about the surface area around this three inch pipe. If you maxed it out, and you take all the area of the wall of this pipe versus all the area of the wall of this pipe, I don't want this to turn into a situation where we're doing calculations. You know, that's not what this channel does. We just simply explain it in layman's terms. When the water comes in contact with more of the pipe's surface, you have more friction the water moves slow. You want to get that water up inside the pipe. You want as much water away from the wall as you possibly can get. So that's why we use a four inch pipe, a three and a half inch pipe, and a three inch pipe. Size your systems appropriately.